So what's up guys, Paul Simon here. So I've got a case of seemingly divine intervention that I just have to share with you guys. And that's coming up. Okay, so this story begins about uh, two weeks ago. I was flying with a student in the gyro plane. The student was in the front seat, I was in the rear seat. And unfortunately, they had not secured their helmet well. And during the flight, their helmet came off and exited the aircraft to the rear. Uh, the gyro planes that we fly are pusher props. So the prop is behind you. And uh, it's a, seemingly a miracle that the helmet didn't go through the pusher prop and take out the pusher prop and or go through the main rotor and damage the main rotor. But there was no damage. It completely missed both the pusher prop uh, and the main rotor. Okay, so let's fast forward to yesterday. I had called Comtronics Corporation uh, and tried to get a replacement helmet for it. We'd use a type of helmets that slip over the top of your headset. And um, in case you have a problem with the headset, you just go get a new headset and you still got a helmet, you can slip it on over. And the main reason we wear the helmets is to hold your headset on so that your headset doesn't come off. Uh, when your helmet comes off, your headset may follow. <laughs> so. But anyways, luck with that, I was trying to call Comtronics. I got them on the phone, tried to order a replacement helmet, and they had indicated to me that it was going to be upwards, possibly even a year before they would have the helmets in. Most of them, I think, are made in China and the whole supply chain problem thing. I had a new student starting from Arizona, and I really needed a helmet for the student to wear. This very pleasant elderly gentleman showed up at the front door, knocking on the door, and I opened the door, let him in, and he looked very familiar to me at the time. And uh, came in and said, uh, you probably don't remember me. Uh, I flew with you about uh, oh, eight or 10 years ago. And um, I hadn't been back uh, in, in that time. And unfortunately my wife had died. And then he mentioned his son who was in his forties had died unexpectedly. And I'm sitting there, man, I'm about to start crying going through the story, you know. So we continued to talk for a bit and I was sitting there thinking, man, some of the things that people have to go through in their life events are just crazy. It's just horrible. So this is a gentleman, I still, I can't remember his name. I don't remember his name. He may have told me, I don't remember. But uh, I hadn't seen this gentleman in 10 years, right? And so he stopped me and said, you know, I found something yesterday. I thought of you and I brought it down here today and I want to give it to you. So went out to his car um, and walked into the office here and lo and behold, notice the name on the back of the helmet, Comtronics. Right. He found this, he'd had it for a decade and uh, brought it on the very day The very day that I needed it, almost to the hour, almost to the minute, actually, when I needed it. It just makes you wonder some things um, that happen in your life that are just from out of the blue and uh, totally surprising. So it's kind of funny, um, sometimes uh, things happen and uh, you get exactly what you need, exactly what you need. Just amazing. Alright, so I got a few clouds under me here, plenty of room though to get through them. Looking around, I got a highway over here, I got a highway here, they both got wind. Bring it on down. 